What is going on gamers and welcome back to another Overwatch gameplay video. Uh, so in this video we're going to be covering uh, the latest addition to the Overwatch crew, the assault character known as Sombra. Now Sombra is a three star difficulty character uh, according to Overwatch and uh, I've heard a lot of feedback from people who say they like her but man she's hard to get the hang of and they just can't get into a good rhythm with her. So I've sort of, I guess, turned into a Sombra main. She's she's kind of my, uh, she's my boo right now. She's my main squeeze. So I, I have a hard time not playing Sombra. I want to play with my friends because it fits well with our team comp. And uh, I just really enjoy playing with her. I get into a really good groove. And you'll see that in the gameplay here. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about how to make Sombra work for you. What's the groove look like? Uh, how do you play her effectively? So basically, Sombra is a harassment character. She's really primarily a harassment style character where, where you will stealth in, isolate squishy, often uh, squishy characters or healers, high damage dealers from behind, and, uh, and then harass them or kill them, and then teleport back to your translocator beacon, and then uh, start the process all over again. It's sort of this this cycle that you go, you go stealth in, isolate, killer damage, teleport back, heal up, place another translocator, and repeat the process. And the, uh, the biggest thing here is really getting used to your time limit that you have uh, to use your beacon. And it's displayed right there in the crosshairs for you right on the front of your screen so you know how much time you have left before you gotta teleport back to that beacon. So um, she works really well on defense uh, as well as any payload style. Uh, game mode but uh, really it's all about just knowing that getting that timing down right you have the 15 seconds to do your damage and then teleport back otherwise you may find yourself up creek without a paddle and uh, no way out when you get uh, when you get aggro so you, she's really not the kind of character that you want to tank aggro with uh, you're gonna get a little bit of aggro when you stealth in and then you start doing your damage so they're gonna they're gonna be aware of you but once you start taking attention that's when you want to bail. So, uh, really got to get that timing down right, that 15 seconds. That's the biggest part about playing her correctly. She's, uh, like I said, great for taking out high damage dealers or healers. My, some of my favorite uh, targets when I'm playing a Sombra. Some of my favorite targets I go uh, stealth in behind. I like to pick on uh, people like Anna. I like to pick on Anna's. I like to pick on Zenyatta's. Love to pick on Hanzo's. They sit in the back and shoot over their sh uh, teammates' shoulders. And they can be really, really frustrating. You stealth in behind them, and then you go to town on them. And uh, you know, as a as a highly mobile player, you're frustrating for Hanzo's uh, up close. You can really just jack them up with a Sombra. And uh, I love picking on Hanzo's. Uh, Lucio's, I like I like taking out Lucio's. Lucio's are really frustrating. A good Lucio is really frustrating to play against. So I like to stealth in and take care of their Lucio's as well. Or if you have uh, like someone playing a Torbjorn and they've got that. Uh, that turret set up and they're behind it it's really nice to be able to stealth in from behind take that turret out and that uh, that Torbjorn as well so that's really what you have to do as Sombra you're really not trying to soak up aggro you're really not trying to challenge a lot of guys uh, in head-on 1v1s especially tanks but um, I find that she's really good against uh, Roadhogs She's really good against Roadhogs. I like taking down Roadhogs with Sombra, especially if you got that translocator place. The second you get, um, the second they hook you with their chain, you just start spamming the button to, to translocate back, and uh, then you're good to go. So uh, you, you avoid that shotgun blast. Now you see here, this is the rhythm. I just wait for that that timer for the game to start. Threw down the translocator and uh, hacked the health take out their Farah before she can do any real damage, teleport back with 37 health, and then I can heal up. And this thing's gonna give me health pretty quickly. And my teammates, so I'm gonna get healing points uh, for my teammates. You see, uh, toss a new translocator down, come up from behind this uh, Roadhog here, and just take him down, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Love, love, love playing Sombra and harassing characters from behind. And one of the best things about it is that they sort of anticipated this is the way you're supposed to play her, uh, they anticipated this and they uh, gave her this intrinsic ability to see sometimes you can see through walls uh, on this gameplay and you'll notice that it highlights players in red through walls and that's because she has this uh, passive ability to see characters that are uh, really hurt so you know 
who's going to be an easy target just to go ahead and finish them off before they heal up and then teleport back uh, to your beacon. So the game sort of knows this and tries to give you cues as to who you ought to spend your time. You don't have a lot of time before that translate locator uh, expires. you got 15 seconds. So it's like, hey, here's a good target. You can take them out before you got to translocate back. And, uh, you know, it's really, really fun to be able to do that. You see there uh, characters being highlighted. And you can really uh, take advantage of that. So uh, one of the things that I would tell you is um, that if you were hurt and you don't have that translocator uh, cooled down, ready to go, you don't have a translocator uh, placed or maybe your time expired, and here suddenly you're uh, up the creek without a paddle, you're, you've taken up too much aggro and you know you're about to, uh, to die, one of the things that I like to do, let me tell you, don't stealth. If, if you know you're going to die and you're like, crap, how do I get out of here, don't stealth. That's a bad move because... Uh, you're still going to be taking damage, and the second you get hurt in stealth, it highlights you and it shows you uh, in this bright purple color. So it, it's not going to do you any good to try and stealth because they're already damaging you. Uh, so your stealth is just going to go away the second you pop it, and it's you know would will have been a waste of time. Here's what I recommend you do. This is a move that I use, and it's it's uh, very very handy. What you should do is uh, toss the locator, toss a new translocator, sort of at the player, sort of up above them. I like to throw it up over their heads and then instantly teleport to it. So you teleport behind them, and then as soon as you come out of your teleportation uh, you know, animation, what you do is then, then you stealth. So you throw the translocator over their heads, teleport to it, instantly stealth. So the amount of time it takes them to realize what happened, to turn around and try and acquire the target, you're already stealth. Now, some guys are smart enough if they've got a uh, higher rate of fire guns, uh, especially th things like tracers or whatever. A lot of times, or, or even reapers since they've got their spam shotties, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll, they'll just start shooting the air around them, so you got to be wary of that uh, so they can try and get a lucky hit on you uh, to show you out of stealth, pop you out of stealth. Sometimes people will try and do that. So you got to be aware of that, but uh, generally it's, it's a pretty good strategy. It, it works pretty well, so you may give that a shot. So I know that Sombra can be a little bit of a technical character to play, it should be a little bit difficult, but it's really just all about getting that 15 second rhythm down. And once you really master that, you're going to be uh, pretty dangerous, you're going to be extremely annoying, <laughs> extremely annoying to play against, because you're going to just keep avoiding death after death after death after death, and um, people are not going to like you. In fact, you, you very well may receive a little bit of hate mail <laughs> for it uh, post game that's okay that's that's how you know you're doing something right as an assault character uh, so hopefully some of this advice was helpful for you hopefully you can get into some more watch matches of Sombra and really start to get that rhythm down get that groove down and uh, I, I'm a huge Sombra fan now I play the crap out of her you see here uh, sort of that uh, that that strategy where this uh, diva came at me head on. I didn't want to play that 1v1, so I threw the translocator behind her, teleported to it, and then let some of my other teammates soak up some aggro while I did some damage from the side and from behind her. So hopefully that's helpful, guys. Uh, look forward to potentially maybe catching you on the battlefield here in Overwatch. Until then, peace.